In this video, I would like to commend and congratulate Ephraim Zirov of the Simon Weisenthal Center for his renewed search for the Nazis and his renewed effort to prosecute the war criminals who escaped. And I implore you on behalf of all the victims of World War II and the people of society today to go after the psychiatrists like those who studied under Ernest Rudin. Ernst Rudin, excuse me. Now, if we go to the Bible and the Torah, because this video is about the prosecution of the Nazis, the race of the Jews, how they are mixed with black, the real Jews are mixed with black, the fake Jews are white converts who converted in Germany. Now, to prove this, let me give you a quote from the Bible. I use the King James Version and the New International Version for many of my quotes, if not all. Now, and Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman who he had, whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Hath he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it? You see, just like the Nazis were mad at the Jews for being mixed, eugenics, blaming the Jews for bringing the Negro bastards into the Rhineland, he's talking about the blood inside the Jews, not bringing slaves over, or blacks over, you know, migrant workers. Now, we go on, it says, And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses, and unto Aaron, and unto Miriam, Come out ye thee unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And the, and they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud, and stood in the door of the tabernacle, and called Aaron and Miriam, and they came forth. And he said, Hear my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is who is faithful in all mine house? With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall be, shall he behold. Therefore, wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the Lord departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said to, unto Moses, Alas, my lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. So he knew it was a sin to speak against mixed people and mixed couples who are doing the will of God. I would now like to draw your attention to the New Testament. We'll go back to the Old Testament if we have time. Now, I'm going to touch on women and prove my point with them. Because this video is about proofs from the Bible. I'd like to draw your attention to Matthew 18, 6 through 7. If you dress in such a way to tempt others into lust and vanity, you are breaking God's law. And if you show breasts or butt by wearing tight clothes, then you are deceived and de deceive others to hell by lust and vanity, and will yourself also go to hell. But everyone you have deceived by your shallow and lustful appearance, will you also get a punishment for you? God says, this is wrong. Don't dress like a whore. Don't be a whore. Don't demand the rights to be a whore. This is why the devil has co-opted the women's rights movement. Because it went from a few women wanting the right to vote and a few understandable rights to them wanting to do the devil's work. They co-opted the Panthers. They co-opted even the KKK. 
But then again, that was a group that was bad that became worse. These other groups were good that became bad. Now, I bring you to Matthew 12, 34 to prove my point about the traitor Jews. No, Judas wasn't the only traitor Jew. You brood of vipers. How can you who are evil say anything good? For out of the overflow of the heart of the, ma the mouth speaks. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. And the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I tell you that men will have to give account on the day of judgment for every careless word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. That is why I called out Wafa Sutton in my past videos. Because by her own words I condemned her through the lens of God. But no, I am not playing God, but advising her how to stay away from hell and warning you not to believe these shrink devils at the same time. Now, in my notes, I have tons of pages of notes. I have, no, I have to, like, put up trash bags and stuff just to hang the extra notes in my room. You understand? I got notes everywhere just to keep track of my thoughts. And no, it's not crazy to start keeping track of things in your room. It's what the law enforcement agencies do when they try to just break down a criminal organization. Now, I'd like to draw your attention to Luke 12, 50. But I have a baptism to undergo, and how distressed I am until it is completed. Do you think I, am to, I came to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but division. From now on there will be five in one family against each other three against two and two against three they will be divided father against son and son against father mother against daughter and daughter against mother mother-in-law against daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law so what is going on is that jesus is dividing the family but why why are there women divided against women why are there some divided against others because the devil is breaking down the family structure. Jesus is trying to bring them to God. And that's another example of women being an instrument to break down the family structure. I bring attention to this because it's something that a lot of people don't talk about. We talk about all the wicked things men do. But we don't talk about the subtle way the devil creeps into your home using women. Now, I'd like to draw your attention to Luke 23, 28. Jesus turned and said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. And for, your, for the time will come when, we, when you will say, Blessed are the barren women, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills cover us. For if men do these things when the tree is green, what will happen when it is dry? This is what is happening when it is dry. Are you kidding me? The devil is doing exactly what Jesus warned us about. And I'm running out of time for this video. So let me let me let me get to okay. Let me get to the meat of it. I got about one minute left, a little bit more of a minute now. Alright, let me skip right to the end. There's a lot of good stuff I gotta skip over. Just try to get to the good stuff. So we, we get to notes everywhere. All right, we get to First Timothy. One, First uh, Timothy four. The Spirit. Excuse me, 1 Timothy 4 1. The Spirit clearly says that in later times some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. The Illuminati. They abandoned the faith and they pursued demon, not demonic thought. Okay? Now, we go on to 2 Timothy 4 4. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. The Illuminati. Worshiping the ancient Egyptian rituals and myths. Now, we go on to Titus 1.12. Even one of their own prophets, he said, has said, Cretans are always liars, evil brutes, lazy gluttons. Okay. We'll go. No. I don't, 
particularly want to bring up why I uh, highlighted that. Oh man, I'm out of time.